Dear learner, welcome back to our lessons. From our previous lesson, I introduced you to the laws of indices and we apply them in simple equations. And in this one, I have a little bit more abstract question for you. And this one is a question that most people fear. Most students fear this question because between the values we have a plus and not a multiplication or a subtraction. So what happens is, uh, in this case here, we will have our values go to another direction, whether algebraic or linear equations, or even quadratic equations, and then you come back solving for the value of x. Now, because I know this one is a bit problematic, I would want us to solve it uh, together. Now, solution to this, we begin by prime factorizing uh, 64 and 8. Prime factorization of 64, solution. 64 is the same as 2 raised to power 6. And 8 is the same as 2 raised to power 3. So these two are going to be substituted in these values as follows. In the place of 64, we shall say 2 power 6. Then, of course, brackets, x plus 1. And in the place of 8, we shall say 2 raised to power 3, brackets, we have 2x, then is equals to 10, 40. We have no business prime factorizing 10, 40, because it may not give us these bases, and of course it may be very difficult handling this. Multiplication here by opening these brackets shall have 2 raised to power 6x plus, 6 times 1 is another 6, then plus 2 raised to power 6x is equal to 10, 40. Now in this case, we need to understand what has led to this compound power here. What has happened here, if you take it back and uh, you know, try to disintegrate it, you realize that 2 was raised to power 6x and that was multiplied by 2 raised to power 6. Because it was a multiplication, then the powers were added. So you try and disintegrate this complex uh, base power there. So what you have uh, is going to be 2 power 6x times, I can use a dot to mean multiplication, 2 power 6, 2 power 6, then plus 2 power 6x, then is equals to 10, 40. There is what we call similarity between this value and the second one. Because there is a common value, there's a common uh, term. 2 power 6x is common to 2 power 6 of this side. So you let, let 2 power 6x be a value, for example, just a node, you can use t. So this one gives you, this is a t. Multiplied by 2 power 6. 2 power 6 is 64. 64. Then plus, this is a t. Just one t is equal to 10, 40. This is 64 t plus a t is equal to 10, 40. So what we do, we shall solve for the value of t first. And then use that t to solve for the value of uh, x. So we have 65t is equal to 1040 divided by 65 on both sides, divided by 65 on both sides. So t, if you use your calculator well, you will get 16. Very good. You get 16. You use your calculator, you get 16. But remember, that t was 2 raised to power 6x. So we get back to solving for x now. So, but, but, 2 power 6x was t, and now our t is 16. So, we shall say 2 power 6x is equal to 16. Another one more thing, you do the prime factors of 16, but you must ensure they are to base 2, so that we have common basis. So we shall say 16 is the same as 2 raised to power 4. Now in this case we shall say 
2 raised to power 6x is equal to 2 raised to power 4. We are now coming to the tail end. Common bases are dropped and not cancelled. You take the powers. 6x is equal to 4. If you want x, you divide by 6. Divide by 6 on both sides. X, uh, 6 cancels with 6. Then we have 6, x is equal to by 2, 2. By 2, 3, your x is 2 over 3. So that is what you do. So there's no need of factorizing that huge number on the other side. Just do the prime factors of these numbers. Ensure you look for the like terms, especially here. Then look for one and more. You can say t, b, or any other value, but don't say x again so that you don't confuse yourself. Then solve for that unknown that you form, then get back to solving for the value of x by the procedure that I have given you in this. This one has not gone to quadratic, but I wish to give you one that goes to quadratic, and then uh, you will be sorted in this area. So example two. Calculate the value of x. Calculate the value of x in value of x in three power two x minus ten into three power x plus nine is equals to zero. Solution here. This one must take us to quadratic. And of course, this is a sum that requires us to use the knowledge of lengths. So in most cases, I call these sums the sums that require the knowledge of lengths, the length questions. Now, in this case, this one is a bit more simplified for you. What you do first of all is to identify that we have a 3 power 2x here. There is also a 3 power x. They look like they are almost uh, similar. So what you do, you let, you let 3 power x be, we used t on the other side, we can use b. We can use b now. But a different value from, uh, a known from x. So in this case, where you see 3 power x, you put b. So in this case, we start from the first one here. We have 3 power x and then there's a 2. So this one can be taken as, from our letting, it can be written as b power 2. Because b stands for 3 power x. And so that 2 must always be put there. And this is what makes this uh, equation go to a uh, quadratic. Minus 10 is okay. And this one is b. So 10b. Then plus 9 is equals to 0. This is a very good sum that enables you to move from one concept and different chapter to another one. Now we are in quadratics. We are in quadratics. And in quadratics, we advocate that you use a formula that you can easily uh, remember, I mean, uh, apply and a formula that will be convenient in terms of uh, the amount of time you spend in this question. These questions are majorly three marks. So use the easiest and the most appropriate formula. I advocate product sum. Product sum. This is what we call factorization method. So, you know, we have several methods of solving uh, quadratic equations. We have factorization in our very first video. Uh, we also have uh, product sum, which was in form 2, that is. Then we have uh, completing the square method. We also have the quadratic formula and also graphical method. Now, in this case, let us go to that uh, b squared minus 10b plus 9 is equals to 0. Product sum. Two numbers, that is now factorization. Two numbers, when you multiply them, you get negative. Sorry, positive 9. 1 times 9. The same same numbers, if you add them, you get negative 10. Without wasting a lot of time, those two factors are negative 3 and... Uh, no, it is 9 and 1. Yes, 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 yes. 9 and 1. But again, both of them must be negatives. So that if you say negative 9 plus negative 1, you get negative 10. 
if you multiply them, you get positive 9. Very good. Then now these two values, you place them in the position of B. Then you do away with B. So you shall have B squared. I am proposing that we start with this one because of like terms. But you can begin with any of them, either of them. But now minus 1B or B, then minus 9B plus 9 is equal to 0. I have done this because I wanted the 9 to be on one side, which is another option. So in this case, you have paired them up, you can factorize them. This one, b is common. b squared divided by b is b, minus b divided by b is 1. Then here, minus. The common factor here is 9. So, it must bring you a value of this nature. Then, uh, 9b, sorry, negative 9b divided by negative 9 is b, and then positive 9 divided by negative 9 is negative 1 is equal to 0. So at this point, you take those ones outside the brackets, then you place them together, b minus 9, and then because these ones are common, you take one of them, b minus 1 is equal to 0. One thing, if you are multiplying two numbers and the answer is 0, then either or all, either or both of them are zeros. So that means you can assume that uh, b, you can assume that b minus 9 is 0. That gives you b as 9. You can also assume that b minus 1 is 0, so b is equal to 1. But now see, you have looked for the value of b. You are yet to look for the value of x. So you come and finish this way. You will say 3 power x is equal to the first value of b, which is 9. 9 is the same as 3 squared. Common basis, your x is 2. That is the first value. Second value, 3 power x is 1. Then you want the base of 3, which gives you 1. Any number raised to 0 is 1. So, we want a common base here, we can say 3 power 0. Because any number raised to 0 is 1. In other words, we are saying x is equal to 0. When you are solving a quadratic equation, you get two values. That is why we have gotten two values of b. And that means we also get two values of x. So the question was supposed to be, calculate the values, the values of x in that equation. Lana, I hope you will concentrate, you will repeat reading these ones, and you will have it nice in your examinations. See you and God bless you.